Hi, this is Roger. This video is going to show how to install the Moxie data field onto your Garmin Connect IQ device. Uh, so to do this, uh, we're going to use Garmin Express in this case, and we need to make sure that we've got the latest version of Garmin Express uh, so that we're sure it's compatible with this type of an app. So to check your uh, version of Garmin Express, uh, go to the Settings button here, and then uh, the About tab, and then uh, check for updates to Express. So if you click on this, it'll check for updates, and then it will have you download the latest version. Uh, right now I'm using this 4.1.12.0, uh, and this, this version uh, does support the type of app that we're going to install. Um, so once you're sure that you have the latest version, uh, you need to have your Garmin Express set up to connect to your device. It, uh, in this case, we're going to install the uh, Moxie data field on, on my Phoenix 3 device, and I've got the Phoenix 3 already plugged in, which is why it shows the green dot here in Garmin Express. And then we also need to verify that the uh, firmware on the watch is at the latest version. Uh, as well. So if we click on the watch and then uh, we can we can check here to make sure that we've got the latest software version on the watch and if you want to just do a, um, a refresh to make sure it'll check for updates and it says you're up to date in this case the Phoenix 3 has version 5.1 um, so we know that, that that is up to date. If, you're, if your watch has to do an update at this point it would be best to uh, let the update download then uh, disconnect the watch, install the update, then reconnect the watch, and then proceed with installing the, uh, the Moxie data field once you have the latest firmware uh, actually installed on the watch. So now we're going to uh, minimize this Garmin Express. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So you need to go to the website uh, apps.garmin.com to actually download the app to your watch. Um, and then this will bring you to the, the Connect IQ store. The easiest way to find the Moxie data field is to just do a search for Moxie and it will bring up um, all of the Moxie apps that are available. Um, and then I'm gonna click on, my, on the Phoenix 3 here and then click on data fields because this is a data field type of an app. And then um, one, this, is the, this is the one we're looking for. It's the Moxie data field. Um, and if this were bigger, it would say Moxie Data Field for Phoenix 3. So I'm going to click on this, <clears throat> and now it's going to ask us, uh, or, or it's bring us um, to this download page, and then it's going to ask us to choose a device, and yes, this is the correct uh, Phoenix 3 that I want to install, so I'm going to say Confirm Device, and then it asks for approval to use the Ant Radio to send and receive data from third-party sensors, and I have to allow that. And there, now it says, um, it says, got it, and the, the Phoenix 3 will be installed the next time your device syncs. And what just flashed up on the screen was that the uh, Garmin Express recognized this, and it's already started uh, syncing to the Phoenix 3. So we'll let that continue here for just a second. There, that's done. Um, and so it says synced just now. So now the app is actually uh, on, uh, on the watch. Now, we need to do some setup on this Moxie data field uh, because there, there are some settings that we're not able to set on the watch, so we have to set them through uh, Garmin Express. And so to set those, we're going to go to the Manage Apps button. And then uh, this is showing us all the apps that are installed on, the, on this Phoenix 3. And, and we want to scroll down until we find the Moxie data field uh, app. And uh, when, when the app has these three dots uh, after the app name, that means that there are some settings associated with that app. So we'll click on the three dots to bring up the settings uh, uh, dialog here. The, the sensor location is just a reminder for which muscle that the sensor is being worn on. And for right now, this is just a reminder. In the future, this data will get saved to the FIT file. When Garmin enables that capability, uh, this sensor location will get saved to the FIT file, and that will help you uh, to remember where the sensor was worn uh, when you're looking at the FIT file at a, at a later date. 
the sensor ID defaults to zero, and when it's zero, this is the wildcard character. This will allow it to pair with uh, the first Moxie sensor it finds. Uh, in this case, and, and most often, you're going to want to set this to a particular Moxie number. So if you look at the, the number on the top of your Moxie, uh, my number is, is 430, uh, so I'm going to set that uh, so that it only pairs to sensor number 430, uh, and then I don't have to worry about it getting paired to the wrong device. So I'll click on save. Then after we save, uh, we need to go back, and now we need to sync again so that those settings get pushed down to the watch. And when that finishes up, uh, this is all that we need to do with Garmin Express and the App Store. Everything else we're going to do uh, to get this set up is on the watch. Okay, now here we are on the watch, and we're going to uh, add the data field to a running activity, but uh, you could do the same thing for any activity. So I'll hit the Start button uh, to bring up the list of activities. I'll hit Start on the run so we get into the run activity. Then I'm going to hold down uh, the Up button until we bring up the, uh, the menu. So I'll hit the, hit the Start for Settings, hit Start again to go into Current App, hit Start again to go into Data Screens. Um, screen 1, Screen 2, Screen 3 all have data on them already, so I'm going to scroll down to Screen 4 and hit Start. And then we're going to turn the status from off to on so that now we will have a fourth screen in the running uh, app. And then we're going to go down to the layout. Right now this is set up with four fields and the, the Moxie data field can go in, in any type of layout. If it's a small layout, uh, it will toggle between the SMO2 and THB data. But if it's a bigger field uh, where, where both uh, uh, data points will, will fit at the same time. It will show them both simultaneously. So I'm going to change this to a one field layout so that the data completely fills the screen and we'll see both of them at the same time. And then, then we scroll down to the field. Right now this field is set to timer. I'm going to uh, select that and then it gives me an option to set it to a connect IQ field. So I'm going to select that. And then the only one we've got installed right now is the Moxie data field, so I will select that. So now we've got it set up uh, to show the Moxie data field, so I'm going to back all the way out to the um, app again. So this is screen one. If I scroll down, that's screen two, screen three, and then uh, screen four is showing the, um, the Moxie data field. I'm going to start the app just to get some of that other stuff out of the way. Uh, and you can see right now, uh, we set the left quad uh, as the sensor location, and we sent the, set the sensor number to 430. And so right now it's telling us that it's looking for sensor 430. Um, I'm going to turn that sensor on right now. There, the sensor's on. And so now it's found the sensor. And if I can get back in the field of view here, uh, now it's taking measurements on my arm. So this is how... Uh, the Moxie data field uh, can be set up on your Phoenix 3.